Hi, my name is Shelley, and today we have a first trimester OB model with us and we're going to start by identifying the pregnancy and establishing whether it's intrauterine or not and just doing an overall survey of the pelvis. So I'm using the C3 scanner in the obstetric setup and I'm going to place my scanner in the sagittal plane for starters. Now my model's bladder isn't very full, but we can still see the vagina and cervix here and I'm midline on the uterus and we can indeed see that the pregnancy is intrauterine. So I'm just going to scan back and forth just to get an overall look at the uterus. We can establish that there is indeed only one pregnancy, one fetus. And then I can turn my scanner 90 degrees and look in the transverse plane as well. So I'm scanning low. This is the bladder just behind the pubic bone. And then we can slowly scan up. I'm seeing the right ovary there with possibly a corpus luteum cyst. And we can scan all the way up to the pelvis. So we've definitely confirmed that there's only one baby there. Now, looking at the contents of the gestational sac, I'm going to zoom the image. The black area is the fluid around the baby. And we can see a little fetal pole there, a little embryo, the head end and the rump end. And we can even see little fetal cardiac activity. And if I just scan through that gestational sac, we can also see a tiny yolk sac, which is normal at this stage of the pregnancy. Sometimes we're lucky enough to see the amnion as well, but it's getting to the point now we may not see that because it's fused. Great, so now we've established a single live intrauterine pregnancy with a possible corpus luteum cyst on the right ovary and I didn't see the left ovary.